For folks who have coding background and have used Python before, have probably used pip for installing different packages. So we can do the same for Langflow as well. So if you go down, you'll see there are two commands that we need to run. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy this command. I'll go to my terminal and in here, I'm going to create a new folder. Then I'm going to cd into that folder. And it's always a nice practice to have a virtual environment. And now we can activate that environment and run the command that we copied earlier. So what's going to happen is it's going to go through the installation steps, which is going to take a few seconds. Now, once the installation is complete, we can go back to the repo and copy this command and run that within the environment and the folder that we created. Great, with that, we have our local running instance of Langflow that we installed using pip, and it should automatically open a tab for you that has Langflow running, and now you can start building your projects.